Hello guys, my name is Nicole and for today's video I'm gonna show you well not show you, I'm gonna talk about my Montreal trip. Um this trip was actually funded by Lehigh, um, which is the university that I am attending, um obviously. And this was a very great experience, let me tell you. Um I was actually able to go um to this trip completely free. I got a free passport out of it. Um and it was all due to this program called Passport to Success. To Success sorry, um, this trip was a very big experience for me because it was the first time I left New York City. Like I went to another different um, place, and it was very, very interesting for me, like to see everyone's different type of culture and like the different areas, like places it was just amazing it was beautiful um the background some a little background let's say uh montreal is north america's number one host city for international events it is the largest city in canada's cubic area sorry i can't say that word um french and english is mostly spoken there oh i also do want to mention that for this trip we took a bus and it was like eight or maybe up to ten hours to get there but that was also though because we made like stops for like food restroom and all that stuff so i think it would have been like seven or eight seven hours maybe because that's what i googled and it's a seven hours and i don't remember being in a bus for seven hours but yeah um this is a hotel that we stayed at um we actually woke up at 5 30 well we had to be at the bus at 5 30 and then we left at six we ended up arriving to canada around 3 p.m so when we got there um this is the hotel that we stayed at it was very very pretty it was really pretty um we we obviously had roommates and i had three um girl roommates and we were staying in a room where it had like bum beds it was very the smells were very small but it was still very pretty like it was nice for a good three days that we stayed there and then um, the hotel was actually very close to Chinatown, which was the first area that we went to explore. We had like tour guides and stuff and it was very beautiful. There's a lot like of, um, if you ever been to, um, Chinatown in New York City, it's very, it's very similar, but obviously this, I feel like was more, they had more stuff. Like it, I don't really know how to explain it. Like, like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was, more, it was very nice. Like it actually felt like I was like. I don't know in japan or something but obviously i wasn't um the food was really good too me and my friends um went to eat and actually funny story i think we actually went to this one right here and when we went we were ordering in english and the, the guy only spoke in french and so luckily my friend actually know, knew how to speak french so that was a very awkward moment for us because we were just all confused but we got through it you know and then this this is a church and it's called aura light show. well we it was supposed to be like an aura light show that we were gonna go but me and my friends ended up not going because um we were also tired because the tour guide actually took us everywhere and we were tired of walking and we didn't want to go we wanted to take a nap so that's what we did um but from other people i heard that it was very beautiful it was basically a whole light show um but yeah lights in there it was like all over the place it was really nice if you want to search that up you could search that up and you could see it yourself um these are pictures that i actually took myself which are um wall paintings and these paintings were like everywhere not not these specific ones but there was like different ones all over um the city they're also beautiful and made from very artistic people which i found very like i was really amazed of how much art they have out there it's really beautiful um now that this was the underground city which was very interesting to me because they had like a lot of stuff like this is like the whole map of the underground city they had like stores they even had starbucks in there they had like markets they had a lot of stuff in here it was really cool and very tiring to walk because it was very big and then the train nothing compared to new york city's train new york city's train is very dirty and then this train was very much clean um but i the only issue that i heard was that their trains run slow so that that's obviously an issue um but yeah the underground city is very beautiful and um yeah 
And now this was actually my favorite part of the trip. Um, we went to the Olympic Stadium, which was very big. It's really big and beautiful. Um, we didn't get to actually go to, like to the field, but we got to go like inside the actual building. Um, the pool area, we noticed. Well, I noticed that um, little kids were there, and they were like teaching them how to swim and stuff. So it was like basically open to the public, but it's just like I guess programs for kids and stuff. Um, but yeah, my favorite part was going up to this elevator right here. This this um well yeah this is an elevator this is the the little i guess elevator <laughs> that we were able to go in but this is actually where it goes up if that makes sense and it's obviously very high up and we were able to go all the way up there it was very beautiful we got to see the view from up there it was scary at first because obviously going it, was like, it felt like a roller coaster and it was like kind of scary but very beautiful um, lastly, we went to this um, restaurant called Sugar Shack, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this is also very a very different and nice experience for us. Um, it was um, food in a cabin. I was like a restaurant in a cabin, sorry. And they're very much known for their maple syrup, and it was so good. It was actually really good. We ate pancakes with it, and it was really good. Um, they make these like popsicles with it. And they actually make the maple syrup there. And they showed us like their little setup and stuff. It was really nice. Um, they had a gift shop and they sold it there. And it was pretty much very expensive. So I did not get that. And actually we ended up, when we got there, they took us in like these horse things. Like the horse basically brought us to the restaurant. And it was very nice. Um, but yeah, it was like very different experience because like the cabin was obviously in the middle of like nowhere and it was very it was very pretty but yeah that's pretty much it we we did other few stuff that was like i wasn't able to put it in but yeah i highly guys i highly recommend you guys going to montreal it's a very beautiful place um but yeah thank you for listening